Hey my darlings, I know it's been a while since I've made a video, but I have been sick with a cold for a while, and then the flu started going around my house. No bueno, absolutely not, it's horrible. I luckily haven't gotten the flu yet, but the kids have. So anyway, back to doing this. Um, so basically, um, the question I have, um, from Facebook is, do you ever feel pressure to lose weight? What plus size or curvy celebrity do you admire or look up to? Um, and I don't ever feel any pressure to lose weight. I mean, of course, when I was younger, you know, there was always that pressure because back in the day, it was assumed that being fat or big was extremely unhealthy. And while there is some validity, I can't speak today, it must be the cold. <laughs> Although there is a valid point in that, that yes, you know, being overweight um, can contribute to health factors, but then again these days, what doesn't? I mean, every other day they're coming out with something new that causes cancer. Um, so I mean, whatever. Um, and I think that when I was younger, I thought about losing weight, and I think the reason for that was because, um, I wanted to be accepted. Um, I wanted people to like me, I wanted to be thin like everybody else, because that was the end thing. But, now that I'm older, and that I accept my weight and my body the way it is, I don't feel any pressure to lose weight. And I think I've even told a couple of my friends, and I'll tell you guys this, that if, by any stretch of the imagination, I ended up becoming famous for some, I don't know, reason, I wouldn't give in to the media and lose weight and become somebody I'm not. I think a lot of celebrities that once they make it, you know, and are famous and they get all this money, they start to lose weight. And I'm not saying that they are losing themselves, but I mean, if you didn't have all this money, you probably wouldn't be losing all this weight either. Um, and so I think that they are conforming to what society wants them to be instead of just being who they are and who they were before they were famous. And um, if I ever got famous and they wanted to put me in magazines like I'm fat or whatever, two thumbs up, go for it. Because that's how I was before and that's how I intend on staying. Now I'm not saying that I wouldn't, you know, want to get healthy, but I would never want to lose weight for someone else. The only way that I think that I would go and lose weight is if my health was at risk. And right now, I'm perfectly fine. Granted, I am semi-young, not like a spring chicken, but, um, but I think that's a good reason to lose weight. But losing weight for other people and for what society wants you to be or to look like, I'm not cool with that. Like, no way. And, um... A celebrity that I admire, um, I don't know her name, but the girl that played Precious in the movie Precious, um, I saw a magazine article about her, I think, and she is so humbled and just grateful for what she has become and in the article I believe she had said something to the extent that she is who she is and she doesn't plan on losing weight um, and conforming to what society wants her to be. She is who she is. She got the acting job as she is a big girl. She can get plenty more. It's not about how big you are if you can do the part. It's about if you can act. It's about if you have those skills. And I don't understand why people don't see it that way. Just because we're big 
doesn't mean we can't do what a skinny person can do. I mean, granted, like, we're probably, like, not gonna go skydiving. Well, maybe some would. But that might be a little risky, I don't know. Or bungee jumping or something like that. Like, could you imagine how much rope would be needed? Um, but anyway, I really do admire her because she has the strength and she's young and she has the strength to stand up to what society wants her to be and says, no, I'm me. Either accept me or don't. And you can talk crap about me all day long, but I'm still me and I love myself just the way I am. And I think that's really important and I think that she should be a role model for a lot of younger girls that are BBWs because I mean, look at her. Look where she's at. She made it, and she's a big girl. You don't have to be a twig to succeed and be successful in life. That's not what it's about. As long as you believe it and you love yourself. And I can't stress that enough. I know I'm probably always talking about that in my videos, um, but it's important to love yourself. It really is. Mm. Nobody else is going to love you until you love yourself. Um, Anyway, I think I've answered that topic and we're good. So, bye.